This will help you for yourself, and this will help you with clients and recruits. Some of you guys might have seen this before. Some of you might not. There's four kinds of people in the world. Okay? If you understand this, you'll be a good recruiter. You'll be good, you'll be good on the client side too. In fact, I've gotten to where I close so much that I'm scared of closing. Because sometimes I like everything closes. Everything closes. Everyone says yes. Even if they say yes and the next day they call the company and cancel, they still said yes. And so it almost gets a little scary where it's like, dude, I, are you saying yes just because I'm good? Or are you saying yes because you really want this and you plan to keep it? You know, and you gotta kinda figure it out. But this is gonna help you understand people. Okay? S. System or structure. Okay. How does this person think? System or structure person? They want everything in order. So, for example, if I walk in your office and it's really, really pretty, it's really, really neat. And I, for example, Kylie, they tell right away, she's, she's a system structure person. I walk in, everything's beautiful. The bathroom has matching squirt soap versus, <laughs> versus air freshener. Smells good. Everything's organized. You know, I mean, pictures are all hung up in the same thing. And everything's neat. Everything's done right. Everything's put together. That's a system person. Okay, they want everything done like in orderly fashion. Everything runs smooth. Right, that's Jeff too. Okay, they're usually control freaks. <laughs> they, they want to be in control of everything. No. And things have to be done a certain way. And if things aren't done a certain way, they, they just blow up. That's a system person. Okay? What's the problem with the system person? And sometimes they're control freaks. Not a lot of stuff gets done. Because there's power in numbers. Okay? There's power in... I'd rather have a hundred people doing one policy a month versus one guy doing a hundred policies. But the one guy doing 100 policies, that's your system person. They want everything done. I'm in control. I'm doing it. The problem is you don't get a lot done like that. And you can't necessarily scale your business and grow your business because what happens is a lot, a lot of times other people get held down where they can't necessarily rise to their fullest potential because you're the structure person and you're the one doing everything. That makes sense? Okay, so there's downfalls to it. What's the good thing about it is everything gets done. And everything's done right. The problem is, is that it keeps everything small. Okay? Then you have the T people. What are these? Ventures. These are the technical people. Okay? Also known as your product guy. So, for example, Brian. I saw him yesterday, his shirt. He was wearing something investment education. Blah, blah, blah. There you go. That. Right away, he told me he's a, he's a technical guy. Right away. Because I would never even, it would never even cross my mind to register for something like that. So, what's the good thing about a technical guy? They know everything. So, I've got technical people in my office. So, when I have a question, I don't call home office. I go to my downline because he knows the answer. I'll be like, hey, what's the fee what, or what's the cap rate on, on blah, 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 blah? You know, and, and he'll know the answer. The technical person, they, they know the details on everything. They read the product brochures. They're the ones when I need a product brochure, I go to his office because he has a product brochure for every product. Even ones that he'll never sell in his whole career, he still has a brochure. Just in case. And he's read them all. So the technical guy, usually, a lot of times, they're the ones who are the fastest ones fully licensed. They get all their securities licensed, the whole nine yards. Technical person, I mean, they know the details. They're also, what's the downside? They're the ones who get, usually, they're very easily pissed off when something's not done technically correct. A lot of times in their language, they're the ones who say, well, technically, that's your technical guy. <laughs> Ringing bells, okay, technical people, they know the fine details on everything. Okay, and they're the ones who, you know, every, I mean, they send in an application and it gets approved the first time because every single thing on the paper was right. Okay, that's your technical person. What's the downside? A lot of times they're hard to get along with. They're easily made frustrated. They're, especially if you're not a technical person yourself. Okay, a lot of times they're, uh, I mean, if something's not done right, like it just pisses them off. You know, they're they're done. You guys know what I'm talking about? Really people, 
Huh? They're hard to duplicate. Yeah. You're on an appointment with a technical person. They give you all the facts and history more than the brochure does. You know, all the way back in 1922, with you know, they know everything. But then the trainees sitting there like, what in the heck is this guy talking about? You know, that's your technical person, okay? But they're, they're good. You have to have them, just like you have to have system people, okay? Then you have A, which is the action person. What's the action person like? Energetic. High energy. They're the go, 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 go. That's the action person. They're the ones that technical people don't like. <laughs> it's like, oh, that guy's just so annoying. Like, he, just, he doesn't shut up. He's loud. He just goes. He's always offending everybody. That's your. That's the action person. The action person just go, go, go. Let me do it. I'm going to mess up, but I'll figure it out when I mess up. I'll figure it out along the way. Okay, that's the action guy. Okay, the action person, usually... Probably the biggest recruiter, probably the biggest producer, probably has the most chargebacks. And just kind of go, go, go. They're the ones who usually get in trouble. Somehow along the way, they messed up with compliance. They got they got written up or something. That's the action guy. Okay, because the action person just, they just blow and go. I'll figure it out when I get there. That makes sense? Okay. Usually athletes, usually they play sports. Very, very competitive. Very, very high energy. Very high strung. You know, they're the ones who do not want to sit down and read the brochure. They do not want to sit down and do any of that stuff. Okay? That's the action guy. What's the downside to the action person? Is a lot of times they blow everyone out. So they get a team, and then their team is someone on their team is more technical. Someone on their team is more system. Hey, just freaking go to work. Why are you asking me all these freaking questions? And then their team quits. Or, hey, well, what do you mean? I don't Dude, stop with all these stupid excuses. Just go. Just go. Just go. All right? Don't sit around reading this crap. Just go. Just do it. Okay? Now, that's your action guy. Could the action guy make it to the top by himself? No. That's not going to happen. Okay? Then you have the R. The R holds the whole team together. That's the relationship person. That's the person who will never, if they never in their career make a dollar, they will still be here. Because they joined the WFG Country Club. All right. I show up because I just love the people, man. The people are just great. I love everybody. They're awesome. Most and of our office. All, that's most of our office, okay. All, they, all their best friends are in WFG. All right, they believe in it. They're mission driven. They believe in the crusade. No family left behind. You know, all the WFG charities, the foundations, man, they love it. That's what they talk about. Okay, they're, they're, they're all about what WFG stands for. The company, the crusade, the mission, the charity, the giving back, all that stuff. The other person who, when you have all your excuses, they love to listen. They're like, oh yeah, tell me, come on, pour it on me. Give me all the reasons why you're not winning. It's okay, you're still a champion, right? That's the relationship person. <laughs> They're like, oh, you got to charge back. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's all right. You know, that's that's the relationship person. They're the glue that holds the whole business together. You have to have those people. You have to. Okay? But what's the downside to the relationship person? They don't usually do anything. So a lot of times, all their goals and dreams will never come true because they're, they're always about, it's okay, it's okay. Everything's always okay, which is cool. But there's not usually a lot of action that backs the relationship person. That makes sense? Yeah. The relationship person wants everything to be nice and sweet and soft and warm and fuzzy, which is awesome. But they don't do a lot of action behind it. And a lot of times they don't get anywhere. You know, so they got to kind of learn the action side behind it. Now, let me ask you something. Which one of these... Write these down, and I want you to number them. Which one are you in order of strongest to weakest? Because you'll learn a lot about yourself. Because they're all great. You have to have them all. We're all a combination of all of them. So, for example, the relationship person could build a huge team. Because everyone loves them. They don't quit on them. They stay. Oh, but Tyler's so sweet. Tyler would never try to screw me over. Tyler would never put me in a scam. It can't possibly be a scam. Or, you know... But, you know, Kylie, she's so awesome, blah, 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 blah. 
Like they, they, their team, they could grow a big team if they take the action. The action person always taking the action, but they don't have a lot of the sweet behind them sometimes, so that no one stays. Because everyone's like, oh, that guy's a freaking idiot. You know, and, and you lose everybody. The system person, they get pissed off if you're not following the system. That That's what's most important to them. The technical person, they want to read and think and learn, and, and they want to know everything before they do anything. And so, you know, that everything has its pluses and minuses. Okay, so rank yourself which one you are in, in order. Jay, Go ahead. Question. If you don't think you're any of them. If you don't think, well, you're going to be, you're probably technical, you're probably overthinking it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.